what's good my youtube family once again you're welcome to our youtube channel and of course we are very much excited to have you join us today well in this exclusive video we bring you a detailed account of a significant court case that has captured national attention well this court case involves an illegal Zimbabwean national named Leonard Lemi Chawuke. Well, this particular man has been sentenced by the Pretoria High Court. Well, before we dive into the details of this particular video, please hit that subscribe button if you're stopping for the very first time and do turn on the bell notification button so you can be the first to get notified when we drop a new clip. Well, Leonard Lemi Chawuke, a 34-year-old, from Oliver Hoodsbodge has been handed down a sentence that reflects the severity of his crimes. While well, the Pretoria High Court has sentenced him to three life terms for two counts of ROAPE and murder. Additionally, he has received 80 years of direct imprisonment for four counts of robbery with aggravating circumstances. Well, 90 years for six counts of unlawful possession of a firearm, 15 years for five counts of housebreaking, 15 years for three counts of kidnapping, 10 years for rape, 12 years for four counts of unlawful possession of ammunition, two years for escaping from custody, and two years for being in the country illegally. Hmm, this is actually a lot. While child care's criminal activities extended beyond his initial sentence while well, after escaping from the Nkosi Mapuro Correctional Service in December 2020 where he was serving a 15-year sentence for housebreaking and robbery with aggravating substances, he continued to commit crimes in and around this particular neighborhood and of course around the weirder park while well, Chauke and his accomplices followed a consistent pattern breaking into houses robbing the occupants and brutally gang raping female victims in nearby fields well one of chauke's youngest victims was a 17 year old girl and this particular incident reportedly happened on june 7th 2022 while chauke and of course his accomplice arrived at a squatter camp in Oliven Hoosbach, where they shot and of course killed a 35-year-old man. Two days later, Chauke was apprehended after a witness to the murder identified him to the police. Since then, he has remained in custody. While during the court proceedings, Chauke pleaded guilty to the charges leveled against him. He stated that he committed these offenses while under the influence of drugs. Through his legal representative, he requested the court to deviate from imposing the prescribed minimum sentences, citing his time spent in custody since his arrest. However, State Prosecutor Advocate Maokode Musilo argued that Chauke showed no remorse for his heinous crimes and attempted to use his drug use as a shield. Masilo pointed out that Chauke and his accomplices meticulously targeted vulnerable individuals and by so doing they were actually instilling fear to other community members while the prosecution submitted seven victim impact statements which detailed the emotional toll the incidents had taken on the victims while taking all factors into account judge Fochia palane concurred with the state's assessment while she noted that Chauke displayed no remorse and had been convicted of grave offenses that plagued our society. While well, Judge Falamne emphasized the importance of protecting law-abiding citizens from criminals like Chauke, while well, she stressed that everyone has a right to life which should never be taken away and that communities should not live in fear. Therefore, the court imposed a sentence that reflects the seriousness of the crimes committed. While well, the Director of Public Prosecutions, Advocate Sibongile Mzinyati, commended that the court actually did well and of course she commended the court for reaching an appropriate sentence 
in this case well he expressed appreciation for the exceptional work of the investigating officer sergeant edward matsubane and the prosecutor involved well advocate uh assured the community that the national prosecuting authority considers violent crimes a priority and will continue to work diligently to ensure justice is served well what exactly did you grab from this video if you should ask me one thing that i grabbed was just the fact that uh, everyone has the right to live life everyone has the right to to do things to to benefit from the society so if you're out there and of course you're somehow like child care let's say you're instilling fear around you're going around doing some activities that he was doing then just know it that you're going to be apprehended sooner or later and it's really going to be game over for you all the same rip to all the victims that have fallen into the grab or the the, the, the wrist of this particular man of course stay tuned and stay blessed